Hello, Mr. Belfort. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I have one question, and I'm a huge fan of your film, so this just um, comes quite naturally. Can you please sell me this pen? <laughs> Brad, show them how it's done. Boom. Sell me that pen. Watch. Go on. Let me sell this fucking pen. That's my boy right there. This pen. Fucking right. sell anything. Why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you name down that napkin for me? I don't have a pen. Exactly. Supply and demand, my friend. You know, no one's ever asked me that before. It's the first time. <laughs> Let me tell you what that whole exercise really stands for, right? So the whole sell me this pen narrative is really, it's a test that you give to a salesman to see if they really understand what selling is all about. If you ask someone who's not a professional salesman, who doesn't have the right instincts, they'll start actually trying to sell you a pen. This pen is great. This pen writes upside down. It's the best value for its money. This pen will last forever. Buy this pen. Here's the thing, the only one rational thing you could do when someone says sell me this pen, and that is to start asking them questions. So tell me, how long have you been in the market for a pen? What type of pens have you used in the past? Is it a business or personal? Typically when you buy a pen, what type of money do you spend on one? Do you buy expensive pen? The key to selling is to find out, step one, what are your client's needs, values, what pain are they looking to resolve, what, what do they need? And you're looking to fill that need at the most basic level, right? Well, when you just go out and try to sell something to someone, what you're saying is, I don't give a shit about you. I'm just going to ram this down your throat, right? I want to know what you need. I want to know what you've done in the past. So you ask questions. If I ask someone, hey, so how long have you been in the market for a pen? They say, oh, I'm not looking for a pen. Great, have a nice day. I don't sell people the things that people are looking for. I wouldn't try to sell you a pen if you're not looking to buy a pen. So that's, and if someone said to me, I'd say, wow, this person really knows how to sell. Because the biggest mistake that rookie sales would make is they try to sell to everybody versus weeding out people who are not interested and only selling to those who are. So I ask questions, but not any question. I ask pointed questions to identify what type of pens you've used in the past, how much money you have. Now, the pen is like a euphemism for any product, right? By doing that, I can get a good sense of what you're about. And then when I'm done asking my questions and I know what I need to know, I'll say, well, based on what you said to me, this pen is a perfect if you let me tell you why. And now I'm actually matching my pen to what you need, and I tailor my presentation to fill that need, and it's much more elegant. Make sense?